Hey everybody, this is Chaplain Anthony Kelly. And today I want to talk to you about what a friend of mine recently asked me about reciprocity laws. Now, reciprocity laws, especially for marriage and family life therapists, are laws that are able to where you can practice in one state and also another state. So if you're licensed, for example, in Tennessee, you can practice in Kentucky and vice versa because they have reciprocity laws. Now, some states make it a little bit more difficult. I am licensed in Texas. If I want to be licensed in North Carolina, for example, until those reciprocity laws are established between those two states, I have to have a waiting period of being a therapist in good standing for at least five years, I believe. So each state is different. Each state has their own law. And you really have to go to the website of the regulatory board for each state to find out if there is reciprocity laws and or what is the requirement for to be able to transfer one license to another or to apply as a already licensed therapist in another state. You really have to check that out. Now, there is a great movement among therapists in our country that is petitioning all the legal aspects of each state government to be able to allow uh, those legislators to enact laws to allow for reciprocity so you can practice and be licensed in one state and practice in another a little bit more easier because each state has always had their own barrier. They have their own uh, amount of hours that you need to have for your license, but also how long that you need to hold your license in good standing in order to apply for licensure in that other state. So you really have to check. And there, like I said, there's a great movement of that changing and to make it easier. And there's a lot of states that are opening up to make it easier for you to be licensed in one state and practice in their state or get licensed in their state. So you really have to check the laws. Now there's an exception. One big exception is if you're government. Now <clears throat> I, as a marriage and family therapist, I'm also a army chaplain. So as an army chaplain, if I'm uh, practicing uh, say, uh, for example, Zoom in one state to another, as long as it's on federal grounds, that's okay. But if I, in, for example, if I um, am on Better Help or AMA or one of those uh, therapist platforms as a civilian, then I have to be licensed. Even if I'm Zooming, for example, if I'm here in Germany, I only can take clients in Texas because that's where I'm licensed at. And I only can see those on Zoom in Texas. I can't just go to like the New York because that is out of my legal bounds as a therapist, as a civilian therapist. But if that client is another military personnel on a military installation, then that's a little bit different story. You have to check, though, your rules and regulations and laws of the states in which you are going to practice in and also licensed in. So that is my two cents worth. I hope and pray that it's helpful, and I pray that God's blessings be upon you, your ministry the, to, as a caregiver, and ministering to those in need as a therapist or as an army chaplain, and I pray God's blessing be upon you today. Take care.